but they don't want JRP coming at you with FG Famous arrested for allegedly sliding for J. Let's check it out. Long live 23. Long live J. Bogalusa slash Louisiana legend J.D. Youngin. As much of y'all know, has recently passed away. If y'all really fucked with J.D. Youngin, y'all would know FG Famous was basically his brother. You feel me? FG Famous and J. They fucked with each other for years. They fucked with each other since Jits. FG Famous recently dropped in the name of 23. It's pretty safe to say none of this is shocking. You feel me? In the name of 23, FG let out all of his pain. He let out what he wants to do, bro. And I'm not going to say anything further, but... Bro made his point clear, you feel me? So, FG Famous, arrested. Hate to see it, bro. Let's see what we got, bro. This video is from Maniachi TV's YouTube channel. Bro's actually a big inspiration for me. So, props to Maniachi. Salutes to bro. Hope bro keeps on striving for greatness, honestly. <laughs> There's FG right here. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Maniachi TV, man. Today, man, we got FG Famous. We got FG Famous, man. News broke a couple of hours ago that FG Famous close friend and affiliate, pretty much J.D. Young and brother, was arrested. Like I said, like I said. In the city today, I believe this. I don't know if this was New Orleans. Y'all, y'all feel me on the exact location? Yeah, for sure. Let me know too. But he was arrested while out shopping for clothes to wear to Jada Young's funeral. Damn! Really? Now, allegedly, the the thing that's going around is that he was arrested for alleged retaliation for sliding, pretty much for sliding for Jada Young. Now. This is crazy. All I'm going to say is this, man. You know, um, I feel like, I feel like, you know, put the music to the side, put the internet trolling to the side and everything. I know what this feel like, and I'm pretty sure a lot of us. Oh, for sure. You know, know what this feel like to lose somebody that's that close to us, somebody that's like a brother, a family member. In that way, the first thing that's going to go through your mind is you won't get back. But he exactly, bro. Here's the, here's, here's the real reality of it. Yeah, you want, you want they family to feel the exact same pain that you feeling right Exactly. You want them to feel that same exact pain, but that only brings more pain, bro. It brings your livelihood up for grabs. It brings your family to feel that same exact pain. Right now, you want them people to feel the exact same way that you feeling right now. Yeah. But here's the harsh reality of it, man. You can't win in this. No matter what you do, it's not going to bring that person back. It's a lose-lose situation. And that's why I say it's so much deeper than the trolling. Slide for your man. Slide for your man. It's so much deeper than that. Because when you actually do it. This is real life, bro. Saying. But when you actually crash out, then everybody's surprised. Everybody's shocked. This is a reality for these boys right here. And I even said it. When I reacted to the In the Name of 23 video, I even said it, man. Like, you can hear, you heard it in his voice. On God, bro. On God. He let out all the pain. You heard it in his voice. If you watched the video closely, he was posted on the block. Posted. He was ready. Now, listen, this is all alleged right now. This is all alleged right now. But I'm just making a... I'm just making a, a case that this is a real thing that happens with a lot of a lot of people that lose people, man. You know, it, it goes it goes way deeper than music. It goes way deeper 
than, you know, some kids getting on the internet. Exactly, and like bro said, a lot of people can relate to that same exact feeling. Rolling about somebody death, making fun of somebody death. This stuff really happens behind the scenes, and I'm going to tell you why this is a lose-lose situation. You know, yeah, street politic-wise, he did, you know, allegedly, what he was doing was what he was supposed to do. Facts, but like I said earlier, when you do that, real life comes into play and everything's up for grabs, really. If you look at it that way. Yeah. But it's a lose-lose situation because in the end, he can't even he can't even go to J.D. Youngin's funeral. His bro, somebody he grew up with, came out the mud where he can't go to his funeral because of this. Yeah, that's fucked up bro nobody wins in this situation man nobody wins in it man i just i don't know i just wanted to speak my piece on this you know it's just it, it's crazy man you know um fg famous being arrested while i was shopping for clothes to go to his you know his, his brother's funeral you know it's crazy for an alleged an alleged get back that went on man y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on very sad situation, bro. Like bro said, this really wasn't a big shocker, you feel me? But being on the spectator viewpoint, it's just sad to see, bro. Because we see this so much, bro. When is it going to end, bro? I don't think it is. That's the sad thing. So, FG Famous. Arrested, bro. Let me know. Start down below on the road. 3K. Grind ain't stopping. Not today. I'm out.